<laughs> He's getting all puffed up. I'm George Takei, discovering all things tech in Takei's Take, Boston. Part of the current Boston story is about collaboration spaces where young innovators can manufacture prototypes faster than ever before. Boston's tech guru, Bill Werner, has been working with these types of companies for years. We're just getting going. These shared spaces, I started mine in 2002. Now the big ones are happening only in the last five years. I'm more excited than I ever have been in my whole life about what is possible. His current home is Greentown Labs, which provides space and equipment to more than 40 startups, all developing clean technology projects. I meet one of the startups he invests in there, Rise Robotics. We are building mechanical muscles with methods and materials that you can find in most homes. We're getting performance on par with components that are 10 to 100 times more expensive. If you look at, for example, at heavy machinery, um, you've got essentially a big pile of bones, and then that one little tiny silver part that is showing you more and less silver, that is your power link, similar to our power link that's animating the skeleton. So this is the cyclone mechanical muscle. Mm -hmm. Let's do some tug of war. All right, Adam tell me go. Go, as hard as you can. <clears throat> it is hard. I mean, it really pulls. We believe that this is the missing link that can accelerate the robotic revolution and help robots leave the lab and come into the home so you can be free to do other things. Another funkier collaboration space is right across the street from Greentown. Artisans of Solemn is a place where people come together to either work or learn or both and share a lot of enthusiasm about the maker culture. There are experts in practically any field you name here. I came to the grand opening, I met the founder and was like, hi, I can weld. And he was like, teaching, go. On top of just the tools, you tend to have experts in the house. You expand your horizons beyond even your expectations, just sheerly based on the access of the variety of the space. There are people here who are in the startup world who would be at Greentown Labs maybe in six months, but they start here. To see more of these collaboration spaces, I crossed the river back to Boston to go to Boat, not far from where Alexander Graham Bell's incubator was. So tell me about the business model you have here. We look at about 10 companies a year that we invest in, all of which are building a physical product. We give them a little bit of money and a lot of resources. This is called a CNC milling machine. This takes a really old technology and totally modernizes the whole thing. You can draw a picture on a computer, a model of a part, and this will automatically cut it out. This room is all about rapid prototyping, making things really, really fast. This is called a laser cutter, and then we have a whole variety of 3D printers. By having all these uh, pieces of equipment and staff and resources available to the companies, the businesses do better. What this thing does is it's able to detect a really dense pattern of weather data. You have measurements every one to two miles so that we can actually know more about thunderstorms. Bolt really made this possible for you. I know Ben talked about the name before, but it's bolting a staff onto your company, so we're allowed mm. to actually become a bigger company just by being inside Bolt. Ben, <laughs> look what you have done. <laughs> <laughs> Feels pretty good. Bolt tells another part of the current Boston Tech story. There's more innovation around hardware than software. Robotics has always been huge in Boston. I, robot and Boston Dynamics have ruled the scene here for a while. But in an old brick factory in historic Fort Point Channel, the startup Rethink Robotics plans to revolutionize the industry. I've come to meet Baxter, a robot designed to take on repetitive tasks and work alongside humans in the workplace. We're gonna have you train Baxter yourself. All right. We train a task by basically moving the arms to the pick in the place locations that we want Baxter to pick from. We have some objects set up here. <laughs> We'd move the arm to where we want it to pick from. And then we can create a path to exactly where we want Baxter to place. Kirk is down. Kirk is down. And then I grab me. <laughs> you grab you. Right. So Baxter will do that over and over again. We'll repeat that task over and over again until you tell it to stop. Baxter is friendly and relatively affordable. 
collaboration spaces, and robots that collaborate. The tech scene in Boston seems to keep evolving. After a day all around town, we go back to our hotel. Got it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I need some shut-eye for tomorrow's adventure. Different aspects of the driving task. Well, I am aroused. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. One, two, cheese. Oh,